What up, what up, what up, what is happening, good people? Welcome to this Relationship Friday edition of Herb and Two, alongside Two Sign One. My name is Herb Howard. This is where we get together. We talk about relationships in all of its many forms. We truly think that all the shit we want to put on top of our communities, education, agriculture, politics, economics, all of those things must be built on solid foundations. Those solid foundations are healthy relationships, communal, parental, spousal, whatever it may be. Um, we got to get these relationships right. So on Fridays, we set that time aside. We talk about relationships in all of its many forms. Don't forget to check into the Patreon, too. We go a little bit deeper on these very same conversations uh, after the Relationship Friday show. So if you want to be a part of that, look into patreon.com backslash herb and two. We go a little deeper on the, on the Patreon edition of Relationship Fridays. But without any further ado, we are here. We are vibing. We are hanging out. Appreciate y'all for hanging out as well. So I said earlier, that's two. Two, what's the word, good brother? What's up, family? I'm blessed and highly favored, G. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. You ready for Relationship Friday? I'm always ready for Relationship Friday, Herbert. I, was, I almost cut you off and said, absolutely not. You're never ready for Relationship Friday. <laughs> but, E, you always ready for Relationship Friday. You always got good perspective. You always got good topics. You always got good perspective on what all of this shit means to tie together. Happy Relationship Friday. Me. How the hell are you? <laughs> I was surprised too. I'm like, what? Wait, what? really? Dude? Y'all, I know, I know y'all always like, debate, what? but I don't. Okay. I know y'all always debate, but that don't mean I don't think you bring healthy, worthwhile conversations to the mm-hmm. table. I, I do believe that. All right. How the hell are you? All right. I'm a new man. Oh, I need a cut. If I, if I, I need a, I need a commission. I'm gonna be like, say what you said. <laughs> say what you said. Tell I need 15 percent of the engagement <laughs> ring, the wedding ring cost. Tell him, Harry. Say what you said, right? <laughs> Play shot, brother. Say. Play shot, brother. You good? I'm Play right shot, brother. Yeah. Like your pants? Thanks. Yeah. Killing them. Leather. With the B streets. Oh Leather. I told, I said um, earlier I was gonna wear my uh, titty t-shirt to make the room uncomfortable. <laughs> To be, be clear, to be clear, we abruptly said we wouldn't be uncomfortable. Yeah. You know I mean? if it's, if it's gonna, That's your brand. Do you. You know, if you think they like it, I ain't, whatever. You know what I, mean? I ain't noticed it. Um, what's good, man? You got your sister in the building. You gonna introduce Chess? You want me to? You can introduce her. Okay, wonderful and marvelous. <laughs> How the hell are you, Chess, first of all? I'm good, I'm good. I'm... Chastity is here with us on this relationship Friday, hanging out. Uh, we're gonna pick your brain, you know that? Ooh. Deep dive. <laughs> okay. Not too deep. Like okay. we, we like put the head in on the regular Racial Friday. We go deep on the Patreon. <laughs> I can get with that. I can get with that. You know that. what I mean? Well, you gotta, I can get with that. Consent first. Yeah, consent is sexy. Consent you know? is important. Yeah. That's important. Nah, we're talking serious. about uh, ease out of the pants. I just peeped Chassis' uh, Jodeci Louis Vuitton boots. <laughs> Where's your seat to Wimberger at, Chastity? Hey, you got to want to do one of those, one of those Jodeci closet. dance, at least the H-Town. You were last night. You got to do last something, night. dude. Nah, we, oh, we appreciate goodness. you taking the time. I Absolutely. know you're super, super busy. Um, with respect to what we may or may not get into conversationally okay. this evening, is there anything you want to tell the people about you, who you are, what you went to, how they can keep up? Absolutely. Hey. Um, I got by Chastity, um, also Big Dog. That's what everybody calls me. Who calls you Big Dog? Everybody. Child. Why? She That's lied. on the Patreon. No, they really huh? do call it that, and it's actually... It's a doyen. They, they, they do call it <laughs> They that. really do call it that. They do call it that. Absolutely. Hey, Big tell, Dog. And you're going to tell us about it on the Patreon. <laughs> I would be so uncomfortable if I was so with you, and they say, hey, Big Dog. No, do... no, no. On her birthday, <laughs> he sang the birthday song. You know, who's this song on right. birthday like? It's, it's big, big dog. dog. It's, it's big, big dog. dog. It's your birthday. It's your birthday, big dog. Where are you from? Right. Ken, old. <laughs> Ken, old. <laughs> Mixed breed. No, I just, hey. Damn. No, seriously, it's a nickname I got from somebody. Okay. Um, how long? How old is the nickname? Mm, it's probably about 15 years at this 15 point. 15 years. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So that is tried and true. Oh, uh, Chastity is here because y'all been making fun of me with this whole Galentine's situation. We haven't been making fun of her. We did make fun of her. Y'all made fun of her? No. We well, made fun of Galentine's Day. We had why? a whole episode called Galentine's Day. Why? What was the... Because it's for lonely women. Or it's for you to celebrate yourself, celebrate your girls, because not all relationships are... You know, romantic. We have our platonic relationships. We love on each other. 
We also love on our men. That sounds lowly, but I, I, I support you know? the business. Do you? Yeah, I do. I salute you. I'm sorry. We didn't do it on Valentine's Day. Who doesn't Day? profit off despair? <laughs> that is true. Who doesn't Pain profit off despair? Baby. Pain is profitable, baby. profitable. Pain is profitable. Are you lonely on a Friday night? Are you lonely on Valentine's Day? I got just the thing. We Come have... do Valentine's Day. <laughs> Call all the other lonely people. <laughs> We're going to shed some love on you. We're going to rent out a space. <laughs> We're going to order a caterer. We're gonna get flowers and champagne. We're gonna wine. dance and we're gonna shake order our ass. Most seductive clothes. We're gonna we're gonna order masseuse. Did nobody's gonna take off? <laughs> but no one's gonna take off. Right. No, that's dope though. No, yeah. I, I ain't tripping at it. What we have what we have been saying mm-hmm. is that E is on the precipice mm-hmm. of a great career as a video vixen. Um, I thought I didn't know where he was about to go with that. <laughs> You were like, I'm like on the precipice of. Because you know when we was coming through, like video vixen was a big thing. Oh, absolutely. Like, like, it mattered to be. Um, what's the name that don't say shit on on Joe Budden podcast? Melissa Ford. M- Melissa she Ford. Says a lot. It used to be. She, does. she don't say shit. She. I hate her on not that. Not too show. much on Mel. That's not a go. I like Mel. Hey Mel. Like, I don't like her. I don't hate her. I hate her on that show. I think she's smart and intelligent. I like the. All right. Cindy Martinez shit. I don't know who Cindy Martinez is, but okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yes, um, back to me. <laughs> uh, big Ch- dog. Chastity, big dog. Um, flight attendant by day, dropping it low at night. I run my I'm own. Sorry, what? Don't go, don't go past that. <laughs> why would you? Why would you fly past that like crazy? You said you just flight attendant by day. Flight attendant and by day. You just kept flying past what you just said. That's what That's we do. Nuts. We know how to weave in and out. Okay. We get in there, we get out. You see what I'm saying? I like to stay a while, <laughs> but get in, get out of school too, though. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I like to get in. You know, you know, you know. Go out here. Go out here. But uh, <laughs> if we're gonna be here, let's pause for a minute. Mm-hmm. Drop it low at evening. What that mean? Um, I have my own brand, my own company, Class with Chaz. Okay. And so I started it in 2020. Yes. Um, I've danced my whole life. So. You dance, you said like yeah, ballet, like, like ballet, like ballet and shit. And shit. Oh, yes, okay. I grew up trained Mayfair Academy, Joffrey Ballet, Chicago. Oh, look, look pen and all that. Look at that, that little huh? nutcracker. Right. Yeah. Um, get your son in them. <laughs> yeah, to my people. Yes. Um. So I grew up dancing. It's my first love. It's my true passion. So like I like flying, but when I dance, it's just a different feeling. Like when I get in front of the women that attend my class, it's just very empowering. Um, I see the looks of some of them when they walk through the door Mm. and some of them are intimidated. They don't know what to expect. Um, And when they leave, I just see a different version of themselves. I love that because I think that's a more authentic version of something I see bi-weekly mm-hmm. we get my haircut mm-hmm. there's also a salon there you know what i mean so yep. women come in and the way they enter the space mm-hmm. one thousand percent different from the way Absolutely. they leave the space you think they feel empowered when they leave out with their face they enter the space what? like this they the space. <laughs> with their straight backs <laughs> like you know what i'm saying they enter the space. you thought it was like a like a trayvon salute they and that they come and on. then you, you and, but they walk in the shop and the barber the barber part is first I, mm-hmm. so you're like Good afternoon, hey. Mm-hmm. I don't talk about the people who work there. Hey, good afternoon, hey, welcome. Man. On the way out, Maybe they're they're on the rip the runway. <laughs> yeah. huh, huh. Like, it's, it's a different thing. It so what I'm saying is it like is. to change somebody's own, you know, perspective, yeah. self-efficacy, even like Absolutely. to be like, oh, I'm in the shit now. Exactly. Is is is, is a worthwhile thing. But while the haircut is temporary, <laughs> we got we got expression date on that. <laughs> The idea that I'm confident enough to stand up in a room full of people and, and, and flaunt my shit is probably perhaps more long lasting. I've been told um, one of the things that's most attractive to me about a man is his presence, actually. And so that's a big thing that my brand em- like embodies is when you walk into a room, do you command it, mm-hmm. right? And it's not like... I think I'm better than. It's just I know who I am. It just is what it is. It is what it is. And some people have it, and some people just don't. Yeah, um, I've been cursed. <laughs> yeah, I've been. It's a gift and a curse too. It is, man. <laughs> What's the curse part? Right, of what is, turn it down. What's the curse part of the blessing? I got to answer them questions from the insecure people that think it's something different. That's a curse. Oh well. I mean, that's true. I'm just natural. I know what it is. I've had it for all my life. All right, let's pause here for a second. Let's we don't have to. I'm just going to suggest. Let's unpack this. What she, she, she had to say. No, she wasn't finished. I interrupted her. Yeah. 
Um, but yes, my brand in totality is about just embracing your sexuality. I feel like a lot of times um, in media and social media and popular culture, mm -hmm. When women dance sexy or they dress a certain type of way, it's always like a negative stigma associated with it. Sure. So it's meant to bring um, a, a level of class, a level of confidence and community to each other. Um, and so we have different classes. We have a twerk fit, we have lap dance, we have Afro beats, hip hop cardio. Um, it's everything for every woman. Strutting in stilettos. Strutting in stilettos, which is a heels class. I favorite. think that's interesting because we've had that conversation a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And me and him usually line up on different sides of that conversation. Mm -hmm. Right? Because I'm quick to say, hey, you ain't shit. Right? To a certain demographic. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they always attribute that to, they think it's an uh, attribute that attribute to the style of dress or the clothes they have on, but it's, it's not really. What is it? It's really to? to the attitude and the mindset behind it. Mm -hmm. And I always make the comparison. Like, they send me shit every day about Erica Badu because I'm in love with Erica Badu. I love her. Right? But, and Erica Badu ex exudes all of those energies. She does. Right? She exudes sexuality. She yeah. has several baby daddies. But she she's never anchored into the moniker of being less than. That's true. Whether well, you got Kim Kardashian, got one baby daddy, she's always anchored into the mm. moniker of being less than, even mm -hmm. though she got all the money in the world, mm -hmm. it's a it's a mindset and that makes the the difference for me. Mm. You know what I mean? It's a difference between confidence right. and, and parading. It, it really is. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Well, confidence and even even arrogance, right? Like yes, you know, there therein lies that thin line between the truth. The arrogance is a lie. The confidence is I'm just really comfortable here. You know what I mean? And it really is a thing though, because of course I've attended the classes all the time. It's one of my favorite things to do. And it is, even though like I'm a dancer too, and I come from a dance background, it's dancing sexy, you know, is like a different ball game. So you do come in there uncomfortable, or I have come in there uncomfortable, or like not really feeling, you know, the sexiest. But then once you start, you know, moving, take a couple classes, you do get a different level of confidence about yourself. Cause it's like, you gotta just embrace what where you are and embrace your body. Yeah. And That's just on yourself. How you you do you would, you would be surprised how uncomfortable some women are with exploring their bodies, loving on themselves. You wouldn't be surprised. No. Mm. You know we know women. They we be, like women. And it, it happens. I'll be surprised. I'll, I'll be. You be surprised. I'll be surprised. You do. Yeah. I think it's interesting how they define their value oftentimes. Hmm. Right. Like there's even old kind of cliche sayings like mm -hmm. girl stop hiding your stomach if he's dealing with you he already know you got the stomach mm -hmm. you know what i mean like mm -hmm. I, I any nigga alive didn't heard that before yes and they have so if that man has chosen you he already sees you in a certain light now mind you i i can't say your self-worth should be worth or based on what that man sees you as mm -hmm. but that's that's a hard thing it, it absolutely is yeah. a hurt thing, but it's again. That's why I said it's not all that. Yeah, we run into this all the time. You wouldn't even have that conversation if we didn't know you was uncomfortable. Hmm. You wouldn't be hiding your stomach if we didn't know you was uncomfortable. You, you know you're uncomfortable. Right. You understand what I'm saying? You wouldn't be hiding your stomach if we didn't know. You, you know. He's saying you would just be like, look, this is, is who I, this, this is who I am. Because you had your it just is what it. Is. Everybody got those things, but like with your person, you should be more comfortable, right? So everybody got. That area or that this and that that they don't feel most confident about. That's it's cool true. if you don't want to go take it on the fucking beach or in these photos, but like in the crib with your partner, like you you like let me like what part of you haven't I seen? To go down, cause, uh, no, because I've seen you. Like or I've seen you in every part. But like, but I've I seen think you goes... ain't seen. I've seen part of you. You ain't seen. That, you know what's funny? <laughs> these are I'll facts. These are facts. I was gonna say. I, I get it, but I agree to disagree because I also think it like it just depends on your partner who you're dealing with. Like if they provide a safe space for you sure. to. Yeah, but that's that's some accountability. So I think too. it's I think why it's, you want an unsafe space? Maybe the space Boy. started off safe. Risa Tisa. <laughs> it became why unsafe. You a, why you want an unsafe space? Maybe it started off safe and it, it probably did, unsafe. or it started out cool. Mm-hmm. And safety wasn't as much on the table. In. Or maybe it don't even have or to be. Or it changed completely that. and that's yeah, cool exactly. too. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Or it changed completely and that's cool too. But when it changed, why did I choose something else? That's easier said than done. 100%. But is, is it to be done? You can do it. 
Should it be done? <laughs> She's very smart woman. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I just think that's, I just, e- I just think that's easier so, said than so done. I'll, I'll allow all the space for how difficult it is to mm-hmm. do it. I'm asking you, should it should be, it be done? done? Absolutely. There's a lot of things that should be done, but sure. as humans, we are it's human, it's hard. and it's hard. Yeah. I, I should have a motherfucking six pack. I get it. Right. I'm not. I'm not confused about what you're saying versus, mm-hmm. you know, the work that goes into it. But should it be done? Yeah. If you don't feel safe. But but also it's like it starts with you too because I know it's parts of my body that I that I have the most um, insecurities about, right? Especially after having a kid. Like mm-hmm. it's like you, know, you messed this up, whatever. And so no matter how loved or how the person makes me feel, how my partner makes me feel, it's still it's my internal. own mm-hmm. like straw I that I dislike. I think we internalize it. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's natural. I think it's mm-hmm. social. I, I think it's social because you go to that. other cultures and different shit is celebrated. That's and true. as a man with children, the woman that gave me those children, mm-hmm. I appreciate her body now more than I. And she had one of them handmade ass bodies. Mm-hmm. You know, when them came right out the factory bodies. She had that shit. <laughs> right. But my babies came through that shit. Mm-hmm. And I appreciate it's the same insecurities, though. Like, I, uh, mm-hmm. no, no, I, air came from them. Bella, it is something different in that for me. That's real. You know what I mean? That's but real. it's funny though because when it's time to get down to business, all that That's shit go out the window. window. <laughs> right? He like, said, "Turn them lights off. <laughs> Let's go." About, on, off, like you're not thinking about your stomach, your boobs, nothing. When it's because you shouldn't so, be thinking about it. So on the Patreon, like later on tonight, we're gonna, on the Patreon, we're gonna talk about some positional favorites. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I would bet, and I don't want to hear neither one of y'all response right now. I would bet <laughs> some of those favorites. Have a factor of how I look in said position. Okay, we're gonna turn back. We're gonna come back to that. We're Interesting. Back. So, sensuality. Let's talk about that. Chastity. Mm-hmm. What's the or all of us actually? Because I, it's been this phenomenon going around about um, sensuality and then about um, this soft voice, baby voice kind of conversation. But I won't talk about that yet. What yeah. is the importance? Of- <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hold on. What, what is that, that shit is a lot. What is the importance of sensuality in a relationship? Like, do we need it? Your class teaches sensuality or your brand teaches sensuality. So what's the importance of that? Can we define it first? So I just went and grabbed it. I'm glad you come on. <laughs> Oh, I'm right there. Google? Google? Bro. I'm no, running right there. Oh, no niggas get to talk about this right. Yeah, yeah, we ain't right, right, right. right. we are doing talking that. about? We ain't doing that today. I'm good. I'm good for Look at the whole definition of shit. That's why I fuck with you, my G. I'm not gonna walk into no <laughs> trap. Right. What are we doing? What are we talking about? Sensuality. Right. She tried to okay. smoke us, but we was ready. She always tried to do that bullshit. We was ready. ready. <laughs> we was ready. Gang shit. Come on. What? It says the expression or suggestion of physical, especially sexual pre- pleasures or satisfactions. Can you say that one, one more time? time? Yeah, one more time. The okay, expression okay. or suggestion of physical, especially sexually, sexual pleasures or satisfactions. All right, give us the then second. Then there's another one to say. Yeah, give us the second definition. <laughs> I, the I don't know of, all of them shit. The, the act of At least give, top three. The <laughs> act of giving pleasure to the physical senses, uh, especially sexual pleasure. The enjoyment or expression of physical pleasure, the state of quality of being sensual, uh, mm-hmm. fondness for the indulgence and in sensual pleasures, lavishness and lewdness. Herb. Okay, because that's okay. not the definition I was thinking of of sensual. Uh, yeah, you you make right. your own shit. Go so, with it. Okay, cool. So we all four we four intelligent people. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's create a definition for <laughs> what for sensuality. In this context that we're about to speak in. The into. act of giving okay. pleasure. To the physical senses, especially sexual pleasures, makes the most sense to me. Agree. Yeah, but it's, it's all that's physical, and I don't think it has to be. Right. That's that's okay. where I'm going with it. I feel like being sensual, it well. Would okay. That, would I that feel be like intimacy? you can be sensual during sex, right? Yes. But then mm-hmm. you are you can be sensual just in like a touch mm-hmm. or a mm-hmm. glance, a look, 100%. in your words. Hundred percent. Like, I feel like that's sensuality too, right? So I'm with you on that, and I think that because I, I, I'm not saying I disagree with the you know, research definition, I'm I'm trying to figure it out because like, when I say not physical, but then I think about it, it's like, no, nah, I kind of do me, but it don't have to be sexual. Like, you I know what I mean? Because they say physical, physical but especially in the sexual too. component. I think it means physical. And I think sensuality, we're, we're, I think sensuality we're merging definitions. I think Even if it's a dance, about, like, it it's like that kind of, you think it means sexual. I think it means sexual. I don't know, because I was, but this was physical, though. I so agree. We could debate, because I'm thinking about I went on a date and the guy kissed my hand and I was like, 
you know, like, oh, whole snap is like, you a little sensual or whatever. You like, I mean, let alone. P.I. P.I. Hurt. Right. P, P is the new hurt. Um, That's nuts. You both You both nuts. But, um, so, I don't know. I think, I don't think it has to be Nigga physical, kissed your hand and you was like, oh, this is sensual? It was sensual. He kissed my hand like this. this How old was this? When was this? While we was at dinner. When was this? Was like, Gay. This was, that how old is? I mean, that's, this was real. I'm gay. This how old are you? 13. <laughs> I'm asking. I'm, I'm curious. This was my like. last boyfriend, actually. Okay, so he kissed you. You didn't like it or you did like it? I did like it. Oh, the homie I know? I was like. <laughs> you <laughs> was, you got to relax. <laughs> no, I didn't like it. You got to chill. You got to chill. What do you think? Immediately when I think of like sensuality, I think of my lap dance class. So like giving a Me lap too. dance to I my kid. partner. Okay. I think of your lap dance class. <laughs> <laughs> no. Because it's very, it's very engaging where you know the guy is sitting in the chair and you are literally enamored by movement, enamored. the body. Enamored. enamored. It's just not a word over there. Can <laughs> you, enamored. Can, enamored can needs you, to go in the definition. Can you look into that camera right there and mm-hmm. tell the people why you like that class of the, and how they can find the fucking, um, <laughs> the niggas in the lap dance chair <laughs> class? You want to be enamored. Get like, enamored in the moment. Go to the class. Yeah, look, look, look right in there <laughs> and tell enamored. the people that. Um, a lap dance happens twice a month. It's on a Friday and a Saturday. And it's an hour and a half class, and you can go to class with Chas Shy. Shy is in Chicago, C H I, to sign up. Sensual. That's and come get sensual. enamored. <laughs> come get enamored. Get enamored. Come get enamored. It's actually the most popular class too. I'll bet it is. Got because it. it teaches you, you know. So I think about how we move our bodies and hold like our hold space for ourselves in that routine. All right. And I've had women come to me and say. I perform that for my guy, and I'm like, did y'all make it through? All right, I I don't want to make this (laughs) uncomfortable. No, 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 we'll do uncomfortable later. I don't want to make this super Mm interviewee, right? But I do want to know, like, when I had these conversations about people who have gotten to this space, right, of comfortability being what we talking about, or it's like health or whatever, right? I want to find out about your journey through it. So I do like the show. uh, We all know a brother named Sadiq, who's plant-based, been plant-based, gets everybody on plant-based. Okay. But when I had these conversations with him publicly, I think it's important to establish the fact that, nigga, have you always been like this? Or do, do you understand where we're coming from? And he like, nah, I, I love bacon and sausage and mac and cheese mm. and all the ham hocks and shit too. Mm. What's your journey through this process of, of uh, finding dance and, and its correlation to your confidence and self-worth? Um, That's a good question. It is a good question because as I stated, I started off as like a trained dancer, right? Mm-hmm. Ballet, jazz, mm-hmm. hip hop, modern. I actually, post college, came back from college, and I don't know if y'all are familiar, there was a spot called Flirty Girl Fitness. Sure. That introduced me to a different world of dance. And so, Do what, tell. I was 21. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Flirty Girl. What's Flirty Girl? Do tell. Huh? Oh, it was, a, it was an era. It was, it was during the Loomis era. Time. We had a time. We had a time. time. <laughs> We had a time. We had a time. Secret squirrel over here. <laughs> we had a time. Um, that time was had. The time was had. The time was had. And so I was young, 21, um, started teaching classes there. And I'm like, wait, y'all teach pole dance? So they were really known for pole dance, mm-hmm. um, lap dance, sexy hip hop. So their whole concept was. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> That's fitness. You on the block. Too. Pole yeah. dance for fitness. Let me okay. And but you know what? On the outside looking in, people would be like, pole dance, stripper. Do you know no, how hard know pole strippers. dancing is though? It's hard, dude. It's hard. It takes a lot of core and upper body strength. Mm-hmm. So And so That's why that girl fell from the roof that time. Like, the oh, core. Oh, for real. Gigi. No, no, I'm serious. Girl, yeah. I'm so serious. Oh yeah, I seen she that one. Herself? That video. Yeah. yeah. She's she like, trying to get up though. Or something like that. <laughs> trying to get right See? up. I don't know that part. That's how I heard the story. I had a crazy story in, in King of Diamonds. Oh. But it's, the woman did phenomenal. She fell from a hundred foot ceiling and stopped about two feet from the floor. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll take everything yeah, I own before too. That's, that's it. it. That take all my money. Yeah, I don't I need anything else in life except for you to do that one more time. That's it. But yeah, that um helped jump start my journey. I saw that number one, there was a market mm-hmm. because women came in flocks. We did private parties, all of that. And I kind of just naturally jumped in there but i was a creative kid growing up so i feel like i always kind of 
you know, played in that space. What is that, right? You was like women flocked, right? And oh. in my experience, women flock to a lot of that kind of stuff, right? Not in a negative light, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but, you know, there was a moment when there was the sex toy parties. There was a moment yes. when, and you can see women adapting to these energies all the time, mm-hmm. right? And I made the joke about being lonely, but I ain't joking, right? I'm, I'm not joking. Because I know it's a bunch of lonely niggas out here, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I know they're shooting their shot all the time. This goes back to the conversation we had about that data study. Okay. That who? Right? So we had a conversation about this data study. There's this, mm-hmm. there's a word called incels. Mm-hmm. And I always attach that shit to some terrorist type of shit. Okay. But that's not really what it means. What it means is involuntarily celibate. You can't get no pussy. Oh, oh involuntarily <laughs> celibate. Involuntarily celibate. It's a real thing, though. Really? A very real thing. Today, 18 to like 25 year olds, like the amount of sex they're having is really depressing. Really? Really depressing. Like. That's surprising. Yeah, but it's I'm not though. It right. But it's not like younger. It's not when you look at the data, when you look at the social dynamic again. The mm-hmm. social dynamic has changed, right? So mm-hmm. a kid that's 18 a day, how they meeting women? It's usually through the DM. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you got a high school basically. Even in that, they don't talk to each other. Naps, they don't do. Yeah. They don't talk to each other. They they don't interact the same way we used to interact. And I'm I'm older than both of y'all, so it's even different there, mm-hmm. right? But to that point of, and this goes back to why the data makes sense to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think they said uh, six of ten women between between the ages of like thirty to thirty five have children, right? Mm-hmm. Six out of ten. But only one out of ten men have children from that same age bracket. Hmm. So what that breaks down to is that all six of them women is fucking the same one or two dudes. Yikes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, what's that represent? Them one or two dudes is that's the one. That's overall th- all racist. That's the data point. And I heard this from white people first. Mm-hmm. This huh. is a white data point first. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, and I was like, when I heard, mm, nah, I ain't real. But then as you pull back the ledge, you be like, man, that shit kind of makes sense. sense. Yeah. Right. So uh, you go back to how we engage or whatever. And it's usually through the DM. Now, how women engage men is very different than how men engage women. Yeah. Right. How we how we find value in one another is very different than how y'all. Find, you just said the thing that's most attractive about a man is his presence. Well, you don't know a motherfucker's presence through Instagram. Right. You got to. Just, you got to person. experience that person. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Ben ain't looking for your fucking presence. Oh, she thinks fuck mm-hmm. like. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, let me shoot, mm-hmm. right? But if your if your presentation in this social world isn't enough to get her attention, mm-hmm. it's a wrap, right? So you think about this like imbalance here, mm-hmm. right? Where you got everybody wants sex, it just is, it's natural. You know what I mean? So you got women, flirty girl, mm-hmm. sex party, whatever X Y Z, they all in. Because they probably sexually frustrated at some level. Not to say it's not interested. I'm sure they got interest. Right? <laughs> but they're not back to even the comfort with a dude. You ain't even exploring that shit with dudes no more because you don't engage them in the same way. There's a disconnect. It's a disconnect. My son, 18, yes. handsome nigga. I know he didn't have some, some, some pussy before, but it ain't like I was at it. It, was, it ain't the same experience. I'm thinking about now just like the... Um the the classes right so we talk mm-hmm. about like the flirty girls or these these classes that help you to embrace your sexuality and be more sensual mm-hmm. how that translates to the men and or if that translates to the men i know that a lot of the women that um that participate in these classes are like married or mm-hmm. have a significant mm-hmm. other so that's why i was like mm, when you talked about the last thing that you said, Mm -hmm. but I do kind of wonder though, um, you know, if at all, like how that like translates to a man, a man, maybe, uh, maybe sparring and stuff like that. (laughs) Maybe uh, (laughs) (laughs) maybe they, uh, substance. No, nigga. (laughs) I just want to fight. Shots fired. Because I was about to say, men do, like, do they have that same type of community to be able to say, like, how does that Mm. translate over to a woman in their relationship? In what capacity, though? I'm at, I don't want to say something so bad. I'm just not. (laughs) No, I'm just not. (laughs) Because I wonder how, like, what do you think? Because I don't go Mm. home and do those dances on no men. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, I'm sure it translates in other ways when I'm engaging. 
with the man because I feel more confident. That's what I was going to say. Or maybe more assertive, right. more even. I'm very submissive, but mm -hmm. I can be very yeah. aggressive yeah. in certain moments. Right. right. And so <laughs> I think, I mean, I feel like for women, that's how it, I think the bottom layer is confident. How confident are you? Mm -hmm. And then once you start peeling back those layers, well, what comes from that confidence? Yeah. Is it in the way that you dress? Is it in the way that you walk? Is it in the way that you make eye contact? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think those are the things that come with sensuality, confidence, assertiveness for women. Now, men. I was going to say, does sensuality apply to men? Well, I just. Yeah, you said the I kiss said on the. Yeah. So, where y'all get y'all sensuality from? <laughs> <laughs> Why did y'all think of Weezy? I'll be getting flowers. I'll be getting flowers. Well, I had this one guy, and he was, when he would talk to me, his gaze was so intense. Ooh, I, can, I mean, I, I just felt gaze. seen, and I was just like. I look away. Me too. <laughs> I had to break eye contact. What y'all yeah. running from? The yeah. moment. Damn, <laughs> the moment. What I might do. <laughs> like, okay, so let's put that part aside. Is that all, is that is that all it is? The sexual part? Let's put that. I want to put that. No. Like, why, what are y'all running mm -hmm. from when when you when you feel like a man sees you, and you like, oh, don't okay. see me. So the, the I went on the first date I went on with this guy. Um, <laughs> Oh my because they don't know what I'm talking about. The first day. <laughs> talking about with this man. It was a man. The first time. Y'all y'all would know anyway just from what I'm about to say. But the first date I went on with this guy, he kept um staring me in my eyes. Like mm -hmm. he was like talking to me and just looking me dead in the eye. And it was like I felt timid. You know what I mean? And then when I later was like, man, you know, I kind of feel like I just would be willing to like relinquish control, like whatever, you have it or whatever, like that. not not sexually, but just in general, I just felt very like, you know, free to mm -hmm. do, you know, like whatever. And then he was like, um, I forgot what he said. He was like, I already, um, I already knew you couldn't even look at me in the eye. Like mm -hmm. he said it. He like, you couldn't mm -hmm. even look mm -hmm. at me in my eye or whatever like that. And I was like, damn, so now I'm like trying to make sure I look niggas in their eye or whatever so they won't feel like they can. <laughs> Talking about big up, big up, big up. See like, you. So yeah, so I guess that's a, that's a good one. For, yeah, like, that can be very Sensuality intense. in a man. Yeah. But I think that's what it is in a man is confidence. Mm -hmm. That's just what it is. Mm -hmm. It goes back confidence. to confidence. It's just confidence. More words for our yeah. definition. What what what's the the Chris Rock joke? Like we reference Chris Rock on here like all the time. So he was like, and, and this is the truth. Like he was like, man, women are nastier than you believe. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. they just got to say it with confidence. Out here. All you gotta do is say it with confidence. Uh, excuse and that's me. Real. Yeah. Excuse yeah. me. You also, uh, excuse, excuse me. me. Excuse me. Like, you're doing that shit. But if you say do this, so you know yeah. you're assertive in how you do it. That's it's true. Be done. That's true. That's true. Right? That's true. It just that's all it takes. Chris Rock says she can't wait to do that well, shit. She can't wait to do that <laughs> shit. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Please. Yeah, <laughs> that's we know. confidence. Right, I can say yeah. everybody know, but again, it's that it, when you're in that space of that confidence, you already know. Jeez, that uh, that flow of confidence and trust. Mm -hmm. I think those are two things, right? Mm. That flow of confidence and mm. trust that go both ways. It does. Right. Mm. So you talk about the confidence piece and like how motherfuckers need to pour into their partners, hundred um, percent. That trust piece, hundred percent. But both of those go both ways. So you like, I I want this dude to like. Like take charge and go. He was born wanting to do that. There's a reason yeah. he doesn't feel comfortable doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Too? Hmm. Like any any nigga you know, mm -hmm. whatever life has led them to do, they want to go after shit. They're hunters. What, it's what niggas do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And for whatever reason, over the course of life, over the course of a relationship, over the course of a career, whatever, they become less inclined. Neutered. Why? Neutered. And it's social, right? And I, we had this conversation the other day. Huh. We were talking about the reason to shit. I mm -hmm. specifically asked you, like, what makes a man afraid to say yes or no to certain things? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And how saying no is sexy. Same, same. It's really the same conversation. It is, actually. Because you know I mean? the nigga that say yes to everything, it's like, I you ran through. I don't well, know. Think about your own experience. How many men have told y'all no? It's None. a rarity. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. So even in my own life, I had to build up that space. Like, wait a minute, motherfucker. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> 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 
the fuck? Absolutely not. No, right? But it's social. Mm-hmm. You cultured to open the door. Mm-hmm. You cultured to make her comfortable. You cult. But at the minute, it's like, what about me, motherfucker? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and then it becomes so natural, you piss everybody. Right. <laughs> you get to know. You get to know. You <laughs> get to know. Just hand it out to these motherfucking no. <laughs> That's think, actually very true. I never thought about that. What part? The I don't know when a man has told me no. Oh. Ever. And no, and it's no in like different ways. Like yeah. that's like when I said, um, like men having boundaries. You know what I mean? I'll be like, ooh, I, I like when a man have boundaries because these men, like, no! men don't be having no boundaries. Stop it! <laughs> oh, Freak! <man>. No, <laughs> no, I know the sex. You but know no what? To like different things. Their time. You know? There's like yeah. you know it's no, yeah it's not just it is. or sex even. But not no, I'm with you. That too. I'm just fucking around. But Chris Rock also said. <laughs> Like he like uh fuck I forgot I lost my thought. What you what was the last one you just made? <laughs> to his time, that's what I a just said. Don't say no, no. Oh, has say never no. said no. Right, Chris Rock was like, yo, I can't make this bitch happy. He said, he said, he said, <laughs> men have a hard time turning down sex because they are surprised when they get an offer. I think that's so. I, I, he was he was he, it was he was he was speaking in extremes. Certainly we've all. Suddenly, most men have had offers, right? Yeah. Cool. Not tripping off that. But yeah, is it like certain his, offers? His, his point was, though, that women, it's easier for y'all to turn down sex. He said his words, because every man you've met since you was 13 been trying to fuck you. Right. <laughs> like, he said, everything a man do mm-hmm. is all, he's like, you open the, can I get the door for you? You want some dick? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll pay this thing for you. How about some dick? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he, like, and so, like, let me, let me ask that. That's interesting. That, I, I, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, but I was going to say, I think that's confidence and maturity too, though. Because mm-hmm. if you get to a certain point, nah, I'm really not interested in fucking you. You as regular as the next one. They come like the bus stop, nigga. They there every five seconds. You, you talking about that? from a man's perspective? From, when you reach a certain level of maturation, uh-huh. this shit ain't as alluring no more. Mm-hmm. I can agree, agree with that. Well, but, but then what happens is, for each individual, I'm saying, no, I get you it. place whatever value you place on them. So I'm saying, if, if the value is... $40 is $40. If the value is a relationship, it's a relationship. But I'm saying, it's and like... And I salute it. I fully understand, right? But I, this is what I tell my shorties. Zero to 25, you chasing pussy. If you on your shit 25 after, you ain't got to chase pussy a day in your life ever again. Because pussy going to chase you. Perspective changes over time. The game changes over time. So even the, like the Man, social matter, dynamic over how women... Uh, 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 show up in the social media space. That's usually zero to 25. Even mm-hmm. though the motherfuckers over 25, they got a 25 year old mindset. Mm-hmm. Shorty, ain't nobody tripping over you like that. At least in my generation. Mm-hmm. Now the niggas over 25 these days is still operating like they're under 25, mm-hmm. so they still tripping mm-hmm. over that silly shit. I go get your ass done, go get your t- the shit you just had me watching on TV. Ain't no <laughs> way I was gonna. Eng- I would what, never engage. What that was shit. that? Oh, I would have never. <laughs> Oh, that's how oh, you tripping. <laughs> what was it? Because you made me watch that shit. I watched 15 First minutes of that stupid shit. Very interested in it. Let's, let's you had it on. I couldn't turn away. It's like a car accident. We had, it was ready for love. <laughs> oh, see, I don't watch a lot of so, reality TV. I don't watch that shit. It was, yeah. It was, it was the whole. Com- Everybody had weave and um, you know, bodies and boobs and you know that, that whole thing. Makes me so sad. Which is that even? Is that considered um? A part of, you know, being sensual. What? Fake body Self- parts. Your body. Care. Yeah, like no. your your body, your fake body parts. Yeah. Your body should be considered sensual. sensual. Well, about I don't physical. know what fake body parts got to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> I, <think I'm> just <laughs> I don't know if the doctor <laughs> matters. Or not. I think so that I think, depends on what you like. I think you can use right? it for certain ways. Like you know your partner like this kind of hair or mm-hmm. this color mm-hmm. on their nails. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I got, I got that motherfucking. Got my hair out. Got, Remy, uh, got those knotless braids that you yeah. like, babe. That's real you shit. You know, that's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, that's that's true. facts. That shit, you know. And the but, body is a work of art. It is. Right? So, yeah. i.e., you like this or they like that. Or, you know what I mean? It's different parts of a woman's body that appeals to. And different women. How they carry it, whatever that part mm-hmm. of their body is. Yeah. Shit like, I like sheer. I mm. like sheer mm. material. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um... So if we going out and my partner got on a sheer shirt, I know for sure. Like you, 
He was like some extra, some extra mm. little shit for me, cause you, mm. you, you, de- she definitely know that I like that shit. So if, yeah. if you come out in your motherfucking shirt, shirt or you got on whatever the fuck, like, like oh, you picked that out for me. Yeah, I know what time. Yeah, yeah. that was. I, appreciate okay, that. I see what you did like, there. The difference is like that's just nice. Got you tonight. That's definitely sensual. It is. Essential. What? Yeah. That's the part of that. Fuck this dinner. Fuck this car. <laughs> but fuck even, this hotel. Even if we're going back in the house. It's bone tag. Even if she don't touch you, though, like, <laughs> even if she don't touch you during the dinner, just the fact that she wore that for you. It does something essential. Yeah, it's right. we're we gonna still do this. I ain't never, I ain't never stopped it there, then and there, but about, I notice it for sure. Yeah, I recognize it as an intentional effort, and I appreciate mm-hmm. it. And you definitely finna reap the benefits I was just of going, your efforts. I was just going back to us <laughs> trying to come up with that definition of sensual, and so you Confident. bring that up. It's like, yeah, mm-hmm. that is a part of being sensual too. It is. Like, yeah. just even wearing something, so it doesn't have to be. So what's physical. that kind of shit for y'all? For me, it's fucking a sheer shirt or some fish that type shit. What, what, but, it, but I only said I'd say it don't have to necessarily be that. It could be mm. from something else that leads to that. You know what I'm saying? Um, for me? Like, for, I, like flowers or like fucking. I like whatever the fuck y'all into. I don't know. I like style. If you can put that on and put it together, that, like, I like a man that, like, takes pride in how he looks and smell. Smell, yeah. smell is a big one. Smell, smell is a big one. Physique, like um, the body for sure. But I like, I'm still thinking about this saying no, <laughs> this saying no thing and kind of like this power dynamic. You know what I mean? Like this. That's mm. some real shit. <laughs> and I'm thinking the same thing over here. <laughs> Who is the show? Like, no, not tonight. Like, Y'all crazy. What? I mean, I'm like. Them two right there. <laughs> what? I'm like, really? Like, even my best friend, she always, anytime, like, when I'm dating somebody and if it's a guy that's, like, not checking me, but, like, telling me, like, what's going to happen or something right. like that, she'd be like, she be like, she ain't uh-huh, uh-huh, like, that's, yeah, that's you. Yeah, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Cause she know. Cause she, she know like, what that means. ass needs somebody like that. You need somebody that's going, you know, tell you what to do or tell you no. So, like, even when people be talking about like control and stuff like that. No, I don't want to be like, don't put that on. You can't wear that outside. You can't go to the yeah, store. No. Nah. But a different type of control. 100%. I like that shit. Like, so, control me. Tell me what to do. A little bit. A little I was bit. about to tell you what, like, Pinch. <laughs> my partner was saying Pinch. about, like, control and mm-hmm. um, dom, sub, that kind of shit, right? Mm-hmm. And we had a conversation about like what that means, what that looks like. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna tell y'all, but I'm gonna tell y'all on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny how every show we be like, I'm gonna tell you, but I'm gonna tell y'all. I, 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 I wanna yeah, tell y'all I'm right now, but it's like, people to Patreon. Yeah, I got, I got, got a, yeah, no, 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 no. Remember that, let's remember that. But yeah. No, 100%, I'm gonna set the, I'm, yeah, we so, did. So can we say, I know you was naming them, Chad. So what was we naming for the sentence? Confidence. Confidence. Um, what else did we say? Did we say being enamored? Presence, or? I thought enamored. you said. We said. I said presence. Presence, confidence. That falls into enamored. It's kind of the same, right? Mm-hmm. Presence and enamored go hand in hand? Um, no. No, that's different. I'm saying confidence is a part that's of presence. Not. Confidence is a part of presence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So those, that's all we came up with? <laughs> <laughs> that's all these four <laughs> brains came up with? Yeah. Okay, well, we'll a confidence and your willingness to not be held back by any inhibitions. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like even to the power of shit. Like mm-hmm. you can't tell me no. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you know. <laughs> but you can't tell me no. You can't tell me no. You tell me no. I like I ain't interested no more. Yeah. I think I think sensuality is at the end of the day for me, I think I really think it's about being in tune. Like it's being in tune mm-hmm. with the person that you're trying to be sensual with. Okay. And if you understand them, you'll understand what things they may find sensual, whether wow. it's, you know, this touch, this note, these flowers, this mm-hmm. sheer shirt. Mm-hmm. Like th- you'll understand the person that you're being sensual with. And I don't think there's a one size fit all answer. This it voice. It ain't. Voice. This voice. So. The question, so basically, I've been hearing a bunch of conversations from, like, friends, like, literally, not intentionally having a conversation, but, like, one of my friends, for instance, said that um, her partner was like, um, you keep talking in that voice, like, I'm going to give you whatever you want or whatever like that. <laughs> She's like, what voice? You know? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, you be, I said, you're going to be trying to figure out the voice all the time now because you don't even know what, she, what the lady's talking about or whatever. <laughs> and then um, wow. it's been, <laughs> it's been 
also like um, a, a couple clips that I saw going around on like social media or whatnot, where they're talking about um, if a woman talks in a sleepy voice, then it arouses her man or her male partner. Hmm. And then it's like this, in watching all these dating shows, I've been watching these, binge watching these dating shows, hence why Ready for Love was on the TV. Like Love is Blind. And I watched Love is Blind, which yeah. I didn't watch either of these shows for years and years. And then finally I just was bored one day and I was like, I'm going to watch it. And on Love is Blind, specifically, the girls were talking with these little soft voices. And I was joking with my friend. like I'm like, we got to start talking. Like, I was to your sister or whatever, telling her, like, we got to start talking in these baby voices, try it out or whatever. That's so, like people shit. So, <laughs> and, and, yeah. So, anyway, um, what do y'all think about that? And I know it sounds like a silly question to just be talking about, like, a mm-hmm. voice and how you're changing your voice up. <laughs> But one, do you even know what I'm talking about? Like, are you able to identify it ever so, at any point in time? Or what do you what do you think? I understand what you're talking about. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna get my testimony before two shoot this shit all the way. Because <laughs> <laughs> he over there. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I, 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 either way, right? I already Probably. know he on. So let me. I I do know what you're talking about. Mm-hmm. And I felt um, abused, <laughs> victimized. <laughs> By my own voice before. By really? Yeah, 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 yeah. And to what degree? To what? the degree that this woman that I was engaged with, mm-hmm. she only, she wanted me to talk to her. Like I, I, I realized at some point in the engagement that she was more about what I what I said and how it sounded than what I was doing or who I was. <laughs> like it was like she like mm-hmm. no just. Talk to me, just like. Talk, just talk. Say I like. I like to talk. She like say nothing. While we're engaged, but if I ever was not talking, she's like, no, you say something else. I'm like, wait, is this why you're like in her it? commentator? Her? Knock the fuck you're- off. <laughs> 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 the fuck I'm talking the about voice this it. Erica talking about commentator. Yeah, because, because, like, it's just, it's won't you because you be That's your TV. born name, G. Right, you know, the voice. Heard the voice. Hey, y'all, goddamn. I shouldn't have put myself out there. Take that, take that, take that. I shouldn't have put myself out there. I do the Herb and two intro. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again, Sam. See, this is why we hold shit. For the Patreon, because they make fun of people like this. It's not cool. This is why we hold shit back. So did that get weird for you? Huh? Uh, I, I nutted. <laughs> you know what? Not that weird. Not that weird. Not that weird. <laughs> not weird. I, can, I can do it. I can do it. Sir. I think I can make it through. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're good. We're we'll figuring okay. it out. Figure it out. I, 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 I muttered through a stanza or two. You know what I mean? Muttered through a stanza. <laughs> Hit it with a little haiku. <laughs> yeah, we, we, get, we got through it. Um, but yeah, I, I did notice it. And I was like, dang, this is a bitch. She, 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 she so, just want me for my voice. I can talk her through a note on the phone type shit. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's mm. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I was going to say, I mean, so um, one of my, um, somebody tried to hook me up with this guy or whatever who I had seen in person, met him before. I didn't like him. And then... Dave was like, just talk to him, just to have a conversation. He's a really good guy. Da, 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 da. I talked to him on the phone and was enamored. I was like, ooh, knowing mm-hmm. that is man, knowing I'm already not attracted to him, but his voice. He had like a little southern twang. This nigga at the at work with a ski on. With a, <laughs> I'm like, he was the first three <laughs> <station. laughs> I, okay, said, I don't even like this man. I didn't, but. I didn't end up, I only talked to him that one time on the phone because I was like, all right now. Like, <laughs> Remind me how you look. <laughs> I'm like, Remind me. Send me a pic. Send me a pic. Send me a new. 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 But I say that to say, like, you know, the voice does, you know, do something uh, for you. Absolutely. So, yeah. So I know from a woman's perspective with men, even, even like people ask me, like, Oh, he got a deep voice. How you sound? Like, I'm like, somebody asked me that the other day, and I was like, that's such a weird question. But yeah. even the fact that we having this conversation, mm-hmm. I was asking y'all from a man's from a male's perspective. But now that we're here, like, even from a woman's perspective, it's like it applies. Or what if he has a soft voice? A soft mm. voice. A or what very if he moans soft. like a girl. Oh. Talk about one step at a time. <laughs> soft voice. Okay. Sir, <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> I'm gonna be like, sir. Y'all funny. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. What I was going to say to y'all, I didn't fuck it. I want to hit shoot it down. Shoot it down. Shoot it down. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for ever saying you should. Shoot that shit down right now. That's some white people shit. That's what I was going to say. That's some white people shit. That's some white people shit. Black men don't have voices like Black that. Black men don't have voices is insane, actually. <laughs> nah, I, you know, I ain't going to paint with a broad brush, man. I know different Do people it. like different shit. <laughs> Well, that sounds corny to me. Uh, what? You don't think you can be turned on by a voice? Not, I don't mean it in that. No, not by the inflection of the voice. Really? No. Or that don't move you on me. the phone. Now, you if you know. have like an accent or something, you're from some, I was just in Baltimore. Or, or you if know, you're in London with the British. Uh, now nah, I don't fuck with that. That's white people too. <laughs> but, uh, black people talk like that too. Uh, right? It's black people. They white people too. They just black white people. They dark skin white people. That's all I mean. I know. Like that too. I'm standing on it. You know I'm standing on it. You know I'm standing on it. I got it. You know I'm standing on 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 it. You know I'm standing she don't come like this, like, hey, yeah, let's go. No, you, you know, know my wife. Let's she go to this. She do it just like that. We're going to this. <laughs> we going to this, bro. Hey, folks, check it out. Hey, folks, check it out. <laughs> we want to do this tonight. <laughs> Why you getting me in this hey, bullshit? Come out that. I just want to talk. Come out that. I just want to talk. She is going to go up here. You want to go like... No, nah, no. Nah. You know, it's this restaurant. They say it's really nice. Like, yeah, But again, like I said, it's different strokes for different folks, right? I like authenticity. In general, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. So no, let's just be honest. I, that's sexy to me. You ain't got to pretend yeah, a play. Uh, mm-hmm. Let's it just does be, turn me on. But it's not about you know what? It does Honesty, turn transparency, on. like straightforward. Right, like, but it's not. But about is it? Yeah. Answer. It's about you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah it's about you know, the hip hop. It's about the show. It's about the no, performance. It's not about uh. pretending. It's about like even when you on the phone with somebody. You don't be talking on the phone, we know. But if you are, if yeah. I'm on the phone with somebody yeah, for hours or whatever, I'm enjoying the conversation. I'm, I like them. I'm talking to them. You're never on the phone with hours? Y'all. No, <laughs> ever. For really? what? I conversation. have for sure. Yeah, at 13. Nah. nah, I just had a three-hour conversation. As soon as I agree with y'all, I know I'm right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean? When you on the phone, whether it be. When you start laying down and you know getting sleepy, you I fell asleep on the phone. You, I fall asleep and woken up on the phone. You talk different. You, you do. Or your like morning voice. Yeah. Like, hey babe. Right. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like shit be happening. Oh, you all shit. snuggled up in the bed and shit. Yeah, no. I just woke up. I don't want to tired. Yeah, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm right. hung up. And talk to you more like why you? Because you fell asleep, you start snoring. I just hang up. Type yeah. shit. I just hang up. Or, yeah, but you do that way before. Then I'm talking about we was already falling asleep type shit. Yeah. That's asleep. Yeah, that's I great. Just, you know. <laughs> Too sad. What are we, 13? <laughs> right. What is that? So they don't care about the influx of voices and stuff like that. We just. No, I care. Don't, 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 don't put me in shit. I, I give a fuck. I thought you said you agree with him. He just wanted me. He I was just wanted to hear me disagree. I'm talking about one thing. Oh. But no, I, I, I agree on the, on the voice shit. I like, literally okay. just had somebody I wanna hear that tip shit. me on the airplane because I was on the PA and they were like, you have such a nice voice. That oh, matters. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, it's different and I was like, folks. you know what I mean? He this just is said weird, like, but thanks. I can't stand sheer. I love you know what I mean? Oh, okay. I said I like lingerie. Everybody yeah. was like, man, for what? No, I, I love appreciate lingerie. that part Who of it. Who said like, for you know what? what? I, I didn't. I like We've it. had that conversation before. Yeah, and like, it's just coming out. No, nigga, I'm going to appreciate that part of the show. I'm going to throw it on the floor. Absolutely, it's coming out. But I'm going to appreciate this part of the yeah, process. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. It might be 30 seconds. Man. Every man don't feel like that, though. No, I like it. They like, you call a t-shirt. That shit yeah. look good for sure. No, I like the present. That shit look good for as long as I allow you to wear it. It looks amazing. That's a that's a good one, too, though, to know if men actually value that, the lingerie. Because women, we like to play dress up and stuff mm-hmm. ourselves anyway so we think we look good in it so we're gonna wear it but it is nice to know if that it's appreciated cares. Yeah. Yeah. But it, again we i don't want to paint with no broad brush mm-hmm. across anything different people like different things like the voice shit i don't give a fuck unless it's like attached but to have you accent. noticed it though because i don't give a fuck i probably not even <laughs> noticed it okay like you, you know what I'm saying? When you don't nothing get fucked, is you don't one size fits all. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the. I, I just like to hear it. You say certain things. If you start talking that way to me, I probably get irritated. 
Tell me, why are you doing that with your voice? Man, what's wrong with your voice? Why are you doing that? Fuck you all. Talk normal. Talk normal. What are you doing? I feel like I would say that to a guy face. Why are you doing that? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I had a guy change a voice. Didn't I? Yeah, I had a guy change a voice. Then I'm an asshole. Now you're a dick. Now I'm an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Now you're so mean. Now you're crying. Now I'm crying. Now the moment ruined. You know what I mean? Now the fuck that thing is. Now y'all ain't having sex. Right? Now I'm turning this way. You right. turn that yeah. way. You try to do shit. Who told you to do that? <laughs> it's true though. Watch it. Can we find love on VH1? They said do this dumb shit. Get the fuck out of here. It's funny because it's true though. You know it's true. You know it's true. I'm just trying to hold on. I don't want to say nothing. I don't want to go too. I don't want to go too far. Yeah, I'm turning this way. You turn that way. Now it's a pillow between us. I can't believe this thing too. Be like. Like, what you? You know Just look at you like, like what? What? What, the fuck? what are you saying? What are you asking for? <laughs> Ask normal. What? What's wrong I with you? I am asking normal. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah. I think we can get it. What? God damn it. Okay. Um, oh, whatever. Man. That was good. I got a that lot of good moments. Don't do it then. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. We have rules. We got rules. We got rules. We got rules, my boy. We got rules. Okay. I'm like, what you um, want to say? Because I want to know. Anyhow. All right. Um, <laughs> Chassis. What'd it do? Please promote the business. Promote anything you got going on before we have a couple wrap-up conversations and dip up out of here. Yes. So, Class with Chaz um, on Instagram, on Facebook, Class with Chaz Shy, C-H-I for Chicago. Um, we do two monthly workshops. We are doing lap dance and twerk fit coming up this month, also next month. I don't need models or none of that shit. What's twerk fit? How does that work? So twerk is a very popular class, um, but it's also a very unassuming class. There's a lot of cardio associated with it. Um, so we teach isolations. We teach you how to Isolations, thing. huh? I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I, I like that. that. I like that. I like that. Mm, Teach you okay. how to make it go one, two. <laughs> da, 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 da. Isolation. One, two. It's like drill. Left cheek, right cheek. Left cheek, right cheek. Lock your like leg. Like <laughs> It's about, oh, yeah. You didn't got to teach me how to photog, G. You need to teach me how to video and put me on the screen. Can you isolate? Can you, um, you so, really so, like so people, look at that one right there. This one? How people sign up for it? Go to class. Actually, the website is Chastity Shabli. That's my middle name. Um, oh, can we like drop that in, or do you want yeah. me to spell it out? We'll you do whatever you want to do. Yeah, we, we, we put it in. there. Oh, we yeah. we'll you in. drop that in. ChastityShabli.com. Direct access. You can sign up for any workshop, um, any class. We would love to have you. Maybe we can do like a little promo if they use a code from hey, Urban Two. We That's can do a perfect. special Urban Two. Yeah. Uh, edition live in this studio. You can teach the class right here. Live. Right, right here. Show. Right here. But yeah, what? we'll do a little promo if you sign up. Um, if you, two, we'll make it Herb and Two. Yeah, right? Herb and Two promo. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, yeah, ChastityShabli.com. Check us out on Instagram. Like I said, class with Chas Shy. Also Facebook. Can we do the podcast private in the classes. background? We do private classes. We do private. <laughs> We do. we do, like, I'm, like I gotta do it. We do private classes. We do private uh, one on ones, and so you can get you and your girls. You can do a private party. party. Mm -hmm. uh, we do bachelorette, birthday, girls' night out, anything that you want just to celebrate you, celebrate your tribe, your squad. Um, with the private parties, we do a champagne toast. It's BYOB. You can have food. So it's a, it's a time. It's a time. It's does a time. E or does E not have a future as a video vixen? <laughs> has E learned isolations? Patreon. <laughs> we out. We out. We out. We got it. We got it. That's done. We'll see y'all next time. It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. It's over with. That's it.